the EOS console has several different options that allow you to change what data is being displayed in your channel display. So let's take a look at some of those right now. Now one of the nice things that you'll notice is that on the EOS My Palettes are displaying directly in the table in the channel information. Now in system settings I went ahead and turned this on. I wanted to display the labels. But there may be a time when you are more interested in the actual values that are underneath that rather than just seeing the name, for instance, walls. You may want to know what those actual pan tilt values are. Now, the EOS gives you a very quick way to see that. By pushing and holding the data key on the console, you can toggle between the name and the actual underlying data. So you can see the individual values for pan and tilt will display for each of those channels. Now, if you look in the color column, you notice that there's just a plus. That is happening because I've got the color column condensed, and there are a lot more values that are contributing to the color deep lavender. So what I want to do is go ahead and expand that column by pushing params and color. And we'll see that the deep lav name is appearing in all of the cells on the table. But if I push data now and hold it, you'll see that the individual values will appear. So you can see very quickly what values are making up that particular color palette. An additional thing you might want to see is what palette number walls or deep lavender is. And I can see that by pushing the label note key on the console and holding it. And then we can see that uh, the wall is focus palette three and that lavender color is color palette number seven. So there's a couple of different keys on the console to allow you to see that data uh, when you need it, kind of like an on-demand check of those specific values. Another option that the EOS gives you when displaying the data is what channels you're seeing at any given moment. There's a, a, a mode called Flexi on the console that really helps to uh, reduce the clutter on some of the displays if you have a lot of channels in use. So let's look at some of those Flexi modes right now. Flexi is accessed by the Flexi button, which is on the console, and uh, there are a couple of different ways to get to the various modes, one of which is just by pushing the Flexi key, and each time you push it, it will go to the next mode. So let's look at those. By default, Flexi is an all channel, so you will see all of the channels that are currently in the console. But if I push Flexi one time, first thing it will go to is a mode called patched channels. Now the flexi modes are displayed here in the upper right hand corner of the display so you'll always know if you're in a flexi mode or not. Now patched channels sounds just like it is. The display will show you only channels that are patched in your console at the moment. I'll hit flexi one more time and we now go to a mode called show channels. So this again pretty self-explanatory. These are channels that are in your show. That means they've been put to a record target somewhere. They're they're recorded in a queue, a sub, or a palette, something. The next mode is active channels, and an active channel is a channel with a level. It's got a level above zero, or it's a channel that you're using. So in this case, the only lights that are active in my virtual rig are channels 21 through 28, so they are the ones that will show up in this flexi mode. Flexi one more time will take us to a mode called selected channels. What's nice about selected channels is it really is that, whatever I have selected. So if I've got uh, an additional selection, say I grab just some of my conventionals. You can see that I've only selected channels 1 through 14, so they're the only ones that will be showing up. And as my, so my selection changes back to the Mac 700s, the display will update and show me just the channels that I'm currently working with. And a flexi one more time will take me back out to all channels. Now, if there's a particular flexi mode that you know you want to get to right away, there's a shortcut. You can push and hold flexi, and your soft keys will repaint and give you all of those options so you could go directly from all channels, say, to just selected channels. Now, Flexi mode is available in a lot of different displays on the EOS, so you can actually go ahead and set up a different Flexi, whether you're in live or, or blind. So uh, make use of Flexi when you're, when you're uh, moving through the data. It will really help to declutter your displays. And those are a few of the display data options available to you on your EOS.